Hey guys, welcome back to Cruising with Matthew and today I'm going to be talking all about Enchanted Princess, the newest ship in the Princess Cruisers fleet. Now Princess have been kind enough to share with me some footage showcasing some of her interior spaces as well as her open decks. So I really hope you enjoy this video and it gets you all excited about your future cruises on Enchanted Princess. So Enchanted Princess was handed over from Finn Cantieri, the shipbuilder, on the 30th of September 2020. Now this occurred during a live stream from Finn Cantieri's Monfalcone shipyard in Italy. This was virtually attended by Carnival Corporation's executives, including the president and CEO of Carnival Corporation, Arnold Donald, as well as individuals such as Jan Swartz, the group president of Princess Cruises and Carnival Australia. Enchanted Princess is a really special ship for Finn Cantieri, as she's actually the hundredth ship built by them, and also the first ship to have been completed by them during the COVID-19 pandemic. Enchanted Princess builds and expands upon the previous success of the other Royal Class Princess ships, having new dining options added, as well as more pools and whirlpools added, as well as the signature Sky Suites, which originally featured on Sky Princess. Now, Princess is hoping that Enchanted Princess will arrive in North America in December 2020 and should be able to start a season of Caribbean cruises. Now, Enchanted Princess weighs in at 145,000 tonnes and can carry three 1,660 guests. As mentioned, she is the latest Royal class ship, following in the stead of Royal, Regal, Majestic and Sky Princess. She has also been built with the medallion technology in mind, which will allow for contactless payment and things such as unlocking your cabin door. And I can imagine this technology will also be utilised for things such as track and trace. Now one of these showcase pieces on the Royal class ships has to be the atrium or piazza as Princess calls them, and this will act as the hub of entertainment on board Enchanted Princess, and I can imagine this will be a space which will be perfect for people watching, as well as visiting a variety of venues situated in this area. There's also expected to be lots of entertainment going on as well, so I can imagine this being a really dynamic space on the ship. There are areas such as the International Cafe, which I've heard lots of good things from fans of Princess, and serves a variety of things such as gourmet coffees, cakes, sandwiches, pastries, whatever you fancy if you're somehow still hungry from all the other food that's on offer. This is something that I really like the look of and I can't wait to actually be able to experience for myself. Now close by is Bellini's which is a cocktail bar serving Italian style cocktails and is definitely somewhere that I could imagine going for a pre-dinner cocktail or somewhere just to relax after dinner. So this would be definitely something that I would be interested in. There's also a variety of other bars on board Enchanted Princess, but unfortunately I can't cover all of them. However, I think it goes without saying that there are lots of places to choose from and you could probably have a cocktail in a different bar and probably still not have to go to the same one twice. And I absolutely love the decor on board Enchanted Princess. It seems quite modern, but also harks back to a more traditional style of cruising and in some places seems quite art deco. Definitely some that I'm impressed by. Another such bar includes the Crown Grill Bar, which looks an ideal place to relax, have a few drinks, and is situated directly next to the Crown Grill. So if you're wanting to celebrate a special event, or if you're really just a lover of steak and seafood, this definitely would be the venue for you. Now with a ship the size of Enchanted Princess, there are a huge range of cabins to choose from, from your standard inside cabins, all the way up to gigantic suites such as the Sky Suites. So realistically, those are going to be a cabin to suit everyone's taste and also everyone's budget. For those of you who love a good spa, Princess offers the Lotus Spa, including treatments such as hot stone massages, as well as the Enclave, which is a thermal suite and has a dynamic hydrotherapy pool if you want to really indulge and relax. There are a number of main dining rooms for those of you who don't want to try out these speciality restaurants. And from my time on board Crown Princess during a ship visit, the food on board is really good. So I'm sure you're going to be in for a treat. Now, if you are wanting to do something a bit special, Princess also offers the Chef's Table Luminaire, which features a behind the scenes galley tour with champagne and canapes, followed by a multi-course dinner, which has been created and is hosted by the ship's executive chef. So I can imagine this is a really exciting opportunity for food lovers, so definitely something to consider if you're wanting to push the boat out, pun not intended. There is also a huge amount of entertainment options 
options on board the ship, but Princess states that Enchanted Princess will feature the only jazz theatre at sea, allowing people to sit and relax, having a few drinks, and relive the jazz era of music. Now, this is something that I would also absolutely love because I do like jazz music. I can imagine sitting in this venue, having a few drinks would be absolutely incredible. There is also Princess Live, which features interactive culinary shows, live concerts, late night comedy, and even game shows and guests can get involved in. And this is even broadcasted into cabins as well. If you want a bit of fame, this is definitely something for you. Now briefly moving up to the top decks of Enchanted Princess, the Lido deck looks absolutely gorgeous with a good number of sunbeds, jacuzzis, and there's also several pools. Now I would love nothing better than to be sitting on one of those sunbeds, reading my favourite book and listening to music whilst watching the sea go past during a sea day. So it definitely looks like a really nice area of the ship. Now finally, for those people who want to do something a bit special, there is also the sanctuary, which is situated at the front of the ship and is extra charged and for that you get your own private area. You also have the opportunity to have alfresco massages as well as a variety of beverages and light meals being offered to you as well. So if you're wanting to have your own private space on the ship, this is definitely something to consider. So Enchanted Princess looks like a gorgeous ship and I really hope that people can get on board her and experience her for themselves in the very near future. I can imagine that Princess Cruises are really proud of their stunning ship. And although this video is by no means a comprehensive ship tour, I hope it's given you a snapshot of what to expect when you go on board and has hopefully helped you get all excited about your future cruises or helped you decide if Enchanted Princess is the right ship for you. Now I for one really hope that I can get on board her in the future because she sure looks like an amazing ship. So, that was my video talking all about Enchanted Princess and I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you want to know more about Cruising with Matthew, then please take a look at some of my other social media links, including the likes of Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and a Facebook group. I post in there daily so I'd love to see you there. If you have enjoyed this video, take a look at some of the other things on my channel and like and subscribe because it's massively appreciated. And thank you so much to Princess Cruises for sharing me this content because I've really enjoyed actually seeing the ship for the first time, even if it's not in person. I also just want to thank all of you who have watched my previous video on Enchanted Princess because that's got over 22,000 views, which may not be a lot for many people, but that is actually the highest views I've had on any video that I've made on this channel. So thank you all so much and it's massively appreciated. I hope that you're all keeping well with everything going on at the moment and keeping safe. And until the next time, this is Cruising with Matthew and thank you so much for watching.